Previously on Who Done It, 13 everyday people checked into Rue Manor to play a diabolical game of life and death. The twist, the killer is among them. Well, the task at hand is staying alive because somebody here is a murderer. One by one, the guests will be knocked off until the final showdown, where someone will walk off with a quarter of a million dollars and be the last person standing to unmask who done it. And last time... Oh, my God! Oh, who is that? Oh, my God! It is the most horrible thing I've ever seen. That's Sherry. Discover how the killer committed murder. I gotta get the clue before everybody else. Oh my god! Everybody found the solution but Dante and I. Did you guys see any burn marks? Said the ex cop. Not the ex cop. You will also be tested on your ability to interpret the evidence. She drowned. No. You hit her on the back of her head. Don! You may be the next to die. Don, please die, Don, so that I can live. Adriana? Here. Melina? Here. Ronnie? Here. Chris? Here. Gino? Right here, right here. Don. Oh my god. Where's Don? 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 Oh, I haven't seen Don. 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 I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh my god. There he is. There's Don. I'm here. I'm here. Right? Oh my god. Oh my god, Don. Do you hear something? It sounded like a faint yelling. Dante? Dante. I didn't see him. He wasn't with you? No. Dante! 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 Oh my god. That was crazy. <laughs> wow. That is just... Where, where did he come from? I, 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 he, I think I he came from upstairs. Running. Here's Giles. Guys, guys. Uh -oh. Please forgive the pre-dawn pyrotechnics. Dante is dead. Oh, my God. There is an absolute split of emotions. And my first emotion is obviously poor Dante. And the other part is I'm spared. And now the sun is rising on another day bringing you one step closer to that quarter million dollar reward. By show of hands, who wants to live? I have no idea. Me too. After all, we are all in this together. What? Yeah. That's when things got real. We're all just facing our doom. If we don't play well enough, it's gonna happen any moment. I'm afraid none of us can leave the mansion. So being the most lucid detective will save not only your lives, but mine. Okay. Oh my God. Once again, you will have 30 minutes to examine one of the following three areas. The scene of the crime where our second victim took their final plunge. The last known whereabouts, a bedroom where the nightmare became real. Or the morgue, an icy basement cellar where you can take a closer look at the crispy corpse. By day's end, the killer will be looking to see which one of you will be next to go down in flames. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys, there's a lot of work on this. Last time, the last known whereabouts gave us a pretty big clue. Yeah. That's really where I'd did. like to go but again. But so did the morgue. Yeah, I'll go to the morgue. I'll go to the morgue. I'm going to the morgue. Last time, we all split up, and I thought we all wanted to be honest, and yes, not everybody yeah. was. You weren't either. I mean, you didn't tell me about the pool of blood. It's a game, you guys, but you know what? None of us are going to advance very far if we're not helping each other. I definitely know now how to play 
the game a little bit better and how I extract information back from others. Bring it in. Let's do this, you guys. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, bring it here. <laughs> the football hey. coach. That's right. Uh, there you, you know what? Stay alive on three. One, two, three. Stay, Stay alive. alive. Perfect. My dear guests, the heat is on. How many of you would like to go to the last known whereabouts? Melina, Lindsay, Ronnie, Gina, Sophie, please. Look, guys. Who would like to scrutinize the scene of the crime? Cam, Sasha, Adriana. Unfortunately, Adriana's going as well, and the last time we worked together, she seemed really distracted by little things that turned out to be irrelevant, but I'm just gonna try to get as many details as I can. Dom, Chris, Dana, and Ulysses, please follow me to where the body rests. The morgue. My idea is I will do my own individual detective work and keep it to myself. If someone else mentions something, I will talk about it, but I'm not going to volunteer any information. Oh, yes. that's where he caught on fire. Where did this soot come from? What is this soot? We can clearly see this burst. That was the initial view, and you're like, wow. I mean, did a bomb go off in here? Oh. Or no. Saint Agatha, patron saint, protector from fire, sleep well. Oh, creepy. So the killer left him a note, him a note him with, a with note. this. But what is there's that? nothing in here. It looks like he was probably going to oh. get a medallion. Oh, oh no, right that's there. just the clips yeah. of, to hold. Something. Yeah, so it's a chain but there's with no a medallion. Marks. On it. The note had a symbol of like a saint on the front. So we know there's got to be a pendant, there's, there's got to be something. Someone doesn't just catch on fire. How did he catch on fire? I mean, it could have been from the lamp. This would have caught. I don't know, guys. We start to go with all the logical ignition points. We're looking at the lamp. There isn't anything else. No. It's just a melted it's a foot. trigger. A trigger of some kind. The light bulb is intact. Mm -hmm. The light is on. It's a lamp. It turns off. It turns on. Could there have been something in his pajamas? Did you guys notice also that this was not on fire, this rug? Yeah, the yeah. rug okay. is perfectly fine. So that means his upper body was on fire. Yeah. Did you yeah. see his arms? His arms were the ones which, that were very Which makes much sense on. to why this caught on fire, because it was his body. Nothing is really out of sorts. The most damage really happened around the door and a little bit of melting from the lampshade on the bedside table. The main things we're taking away is there's a note, there was a gift, a medallion, the lamp is on fire. I honestly believe that if we can get the truth out of somebody, they're gonna tell you that the medallion was somewhere on his person. Well, let's not speculate. Let's wait and find out what we hear. What are those things floating over there? Is there something that we can use to fish it out? Yeah, there must be a net or something around here. There are two black pieces of fabric floating in the pool, and I noticed that there's really not much else to work with right away. There you go. One. Okay, hold on. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I mean, it's not like there's going to be prints on it. Well, I know, but there might be something in it, on it. I mean, these aren't the same socks we're wearing. No, they're not. Why is this not burned? The fire started from, say, the his chest, let's yeah. say. It may have not gotten all the way down before he jumped into the pool. OK, so different socks than we have. Yes. Which is weird. We had gray fuzzy ones. These were dark black cotton socks. So we're thinking, hmm, this could be important. Is that a chain down there? Yeah, Let me try to I'm not getting in there. I'm going in for that. The pool that we have is clearly not going to cut it, which means that I'm going to have to go into the pool. We need that. We do. This is still the water that Dante died in, and it hasn't been cleared out, which kind of grosses me out. There goes nothing. I can't believe he just jumped in. Can I get it? There he goes. Here's a chain. This is definitely something significant. St. Agatha, pray for us. Might as well check out those little particles since you're in there. There's a lot of fragments of fabric at the bottom of the pool as well. So I decided to try to find a big enough patch to actually look at it. Wasn't he wearing a plaid shirt at dinner? Well, in the morgue, people are going to know what the rest of his outfit was. The fabric in the pool is plaid-like. So all we know is that we needed to talk to someone in the morgue because the people in the morgue would be able to tell us exactly what he was wearing. 
The one little thing, I don't know if it's significant or not. Look at the door. Are any of the other ones missing? Adriana marches to the beat of her own drum. This is something. Guys, here she goes again. What's the point of me trying to help her? She wants to go off on this whole tangent. At this point, I'm tuning her out. Different socks, possibly different pajamas, a silver necklace, and a lock that has been taken out. Do you think that's everything? I certainly hope so. What you want to look for is an accelerant spot, the hottest part. Okay. Right here, the shirt's completely burned. I mean, yeah, his, his arm legs. looks really yeah. burnt. Face isn't burnt, so it had it, to it, have it, started, it, it started, in his torso. It started in his torso and burned down, but now in his hand, most it's likely, is where he defended himself. I have a background in arson homicides investigation. The way arson investigators determine where the point of origin was at is the hottest part of a fire is where the, the fire started. If a body burns for about eight minutes, they go in that fetal position, they'll burn up this way. He never got to that position. He was ignited and immediately was able to run. Look at the palms of his hands. That's what I want to see. On Dante's body, the right hand and the right forearm and the center chest area were burned much worse than the rest of his torso or his extremities. And I think that's the point of where it started. Lift up his shirt. Hey, wait a second. Are these the same pajamas? Yeah, these aren't the same pajamas we are wearing. Oh my gosh, how did we miss that? This is plaid. Well, there you go. Those pajamas were for Dante only. He put these pajamas on, and the killer knew that these were soaked something and something had and ignited to have him. Sparked. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now well, let me ask you something. Are you playing the game that no one else knows and we're keeping this packed, or do you tell what you want to tell? I say we trade information. I'm regretting going to the morgue. I feel like all the big pieces of evidence are in other people's hands, and I'm at the mercy of everyone else, whether or not they're going to speak honestly or not. All right, you guys, rest in peace, little brother. Let's go. All right. By the looks on your faces, some of you are hot on the case, but some of you look a little bit burned out. Based on your findings, you may choose to share what you have learned. Others may decide to keep some of your discoveries secret, but information is currency. Details can be the difference between life and death. Wow. I mean, how yeah. do I know that? Listen, instead of saying Agatha, let's tell everyone else it's St. Augustine. Say it's Agatha. Agnes. Did, did it say lady or saint? Saint. What I want to know is if either the people at the crime scene or the folks at the morgue have the medallion. So my plan is those of us that were at the last known whereabouts wait to hear if anyone else says St. Agatha, and that way we'll know who has the medallion. We're not mentioning the chain. We have evidence. two pieces of evidence to give away. I have to Did jump in the pool floor. You have to mention that part because people are going to see that I'm wet. But are we going to trade as a group? I mean, how yes. do I know that? Yeah, I can give you my word that I'm not going to say anything. I'm hesitant on this because my whole thing is the more we can share with people and be upfront, the more likely that we'll be spared. It's, uh, it's a little awkward to have you guys in the same room. Heavy on that champagne. You went to the crime scene? Yeah, I want to talk to you for a second. Ulysses and I are working together, but we need somebody to replace Gino in our team because I suspect that he is the killer. Uh, let's see what the fruit is. Lindsay went to the last known whereabouts, so I'm going to try to recruit her so she can give us some information. Lindsay, she's going to come out to meet us. How do you feel about her as our third? I, have, um, I mean, I like what I've seen of her. I haven't talked to her about the cases at all. I have no idea how or why but Cam's telling me that Lindsay is gonna be the third that we're looking for. I trust Cam enough at this point, so Lindsay it is. Outside of the scene, yeah. we can lie. Yeah. The point is we're not lying within each other. Cam asks me to be on the same team with him and Ulysses. I have nothing to lose at this point. I mean, no one told me anything yesterday, so at least getting information is in my benefit. We're going all the way to the finals with this. Yeah. Okay. I needed to get my story straight, how the note ended. How the what? We'll get to that.
my game is I'm a little naive, I'm not really the strongest player, and I'll play that card as long as I can until I'm busted, and then we'll see what happens. He was ignited while standing up. Okay, he How wasn't. Do you know? Nothing on the soles of his feet. Let's say, like, this is his bed. Mm -hmm. The nightstand was to the left of it. Okay. okay. There's like a piece of paper, and I pick it up, and it's a note, and then it said Saint um, Augustine. The medallion that we found at the bottom of the pool specifically said Saint Agatha. That's something that I'm gonna have to talk to Melina about. She was at the morgue and you were at the last, last, last known morgue. About. Okay, perfect. perfect. Right now I'm thinking Ronnie is my guy. He is really, really smart, so of course, he's one of the first people that I seek out. She was telling you about the socks. The socks. socks. They weren't like this. They were, they were different. They were and in the morgue, he was wearing the same pajamas, except for they were black. Right. The same it wasn't setup. navy like this. Yeah, and that's navy. what we found in the pool as well. Anything else in the bottom of the pool besides the socks? Up to this point, I have kept the information about the medallion to myself. I'm still honoring my end of the bargain, and frankly, right now, I'm hoping that that crucial piece of information can help me. On his night table was a little box, and it was a gift from the killer. And there what? was something in that box. Was there a message? It was a message. What was the message? And it says, uh, St. Agnes, protect us from fire. I'm assuming that there was a round medallion in it. I can see that she absolutely knows that I know that she knows about this mystery medallion, but she doesn't want to tell me. St. Augustine protect you from fire? St. Augustus? Agnes. Agnes. St. Agnes. Agnes. So this is what um, the necklace said. I don't know what that means, but I just wanted you to know because we said that we would be honest with each other. So okay, no. if there's anything that you held no, back, no, 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 you know. Since Sasha gave me that vital piece of information about the medallion being found at the bottom of the pool, I feel really guilty. And I feel like I need to tell her <laughs> the truth. The note, Saint Agatha, patron protector of fire. I thought you said Augusta. Uh -huh. oh, you said yeah, that's what I'm gonna keep saying. Oh, I see. Do you understand? Yeah. Next to the jewelry box was a note. The note said, Saint Agatha? No, not Agatha. It was St. Agnes. I just have to keep reminding myself of what the correct name is. The actual name was St. Augustine. No, the actual... <laughs> See, now I'm even confused about what the name is. Did Gino fool us? Because he told us it was Agnes. No, no, no. What? Yeah, now I'm confused. It is St. Augustine. No, Agatha. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The killer asked me to flag you down. Now, these white flags may help you uncover new clues and hopefully solve the crime. The information I'm anticipating from this riddle is finding out exactly how Dante died. But do wave them carefully, comrades, for they each come with these words of warning. You'll know that you are getting warm when you find fire in liquid form. Above the cycle, you'll spot the label. Search high and low, if you're able. To ignite the truth, you must track this clue. Dragging your feet could be the death of you. Please, take a flag. At this point, I'm real lost. There's so many unanswered questions for me. My only hope is just to solve this riddle or I'm screwed. Gas, no, gas isn't liquid. <sighs> liquid fire. As soon as I hear fire in liquid form, the fire in liquid form that I think of is lava. There are lava rocks in a barbecue. The barbecue is next to the cycles. I'm there. Listen to me. Above the cycles, look for the labels. Right. Who's got fireplaces in their room? Could something have caught fire because of the fireplace? So Lindsay and I were around the fireplace to see when you ignite it if something would happen. Is anything happening? Do you 
uh, yeah. gas is going, but you usually have to put an ignition source, and I'm not. You want not, me to throw in no. my flag? I don't mind. What if we need to? Laundry room. Trying to get in the killer's head, and then all of a sudden, they think laundry room because it says above the cycle. And I look behind me, and I'm like, great. People are right there with me. Above the cycles. I immediately start opening the shelves. Liquid form. Highly flammable. Found it. Oh, thank God. Bottle of benzene. OK, benzene, instruction for use. Spray your flag and find the same, then turn the knob to help you make your claim. The time is now to drag your feet for those who die cannot compete? Spray, spray the flags. Do you want to spray it? Oh, my God. We're spraying our flags, and this pink stripe shows up on them. None of us are really sure what this means. Let's get out of here. No. Oh, no just did, for a did minute, you read dude. It? You said spray your flag. No, I know. Then I'm find the same. Turn it off, because that's gas. Well, Turn it off. I throw my flag Turn it in? off. Turn it off. I want to throw my flag in. It could explode. You are crazy. Nothing's happening. Ronnie's sitting there trying to tear the thing open. I'm thinking, it never even dawned on me that there might be something inside this. And he tears it open. There's nothing in there. Cycles. There's a reason this turned pink. Yeah. I flip the flag over, and it's the crest. Stripe. The Rue Manor crest. The crest has that striped in the middle. You're right, though. OK, where have I seen that? Any flags in here? No. This way. I've seen this shade of pink in another Rue Manor crest somewhere in this house, and it's upstairs, so that's where I'm going. There it is. Oh, man. I feel this shock run up my arm, down my body, and I feel it arcing through my feet and into the carpet. Oh, crap. You all right? Yeah. That metal doorknob igniting a spark from static electricity. Last piece of the puzzle. I got this. It was Chris and Cam. I'm just so mad. As soon as I said, let's go upstairs, the bell rings, meaning somebody just found the clue. I asked Ronnie, I was like, did you get it? And he said, yeah. And Chris when she it? screamed, someone's saying it was Chris. I thought it was Melina. What about this bottle? It's in the laundry room. It's benzene. Here I go again. That means two riddles that I failed. I'm going to be in trouble. So then we just need the igniter. OK, look, we had agreed to share information before. The reason I might actually put you into this, Chris, I wouldn't have solved this if you hadn't pointed out the crest. Chris actually helped me solve the riddle. I thought it was important to bring her in, and that way we could monopolize the information. Like, this means that we're forming a partnership. Yeah, because everyone's going to hate so us So from here this. on out, the four of us are safe. Exactly. But why don't we just make sure no one says anything and we just don't move from this table? That's fine by me. I was standing at the bottom of the stairs and heard them turn something. I heard the ignition. I heard Cam go, ah! And I heard Chris go, ah! And then they came down the stairs. I was standing there when they were coming down the stairs. I was standing next to her. So what are you going to do to get the information from I them? have no idea. I'm going to go walk over there. What are they, I mean, what are they going to tell me, no? Yeah. yeah. No. My first thought is, you know what? I need to go try to talk to Cam. He was at the crime scene with me. Maybe he'd be willing to talk to me. Can you give us a second? Sure. As in some privacy <laughs> is what I meant? I mean, if you're going to stand there, we're going to get up and move somewhere else. OK. Well, I would like to talk to you. Just let us talk, and then we can, we'll can we go and rejoin the group. I'm a little taken aback. This is the last time I listened to Cam. At that point, there is a distinct line drawn. It's us against them. And that's their choice, but I think they made the wrong one. So Ulysses is going to tell me. Let's go talk. I know so. OK, well, I hope you're right. So Ulysses and I have a pack that we're going to share information. And I've been totally upfront with him, just like I have with Sasha. Those are the only two people that I've been totally forthcoming with. So I expect the same thing from him. I thought immediately to go to the washing machine. And that's why I told Ulysses that. But he didn't think the washing machine. He was like, no, no. I was like, yes, go to the washing machine. Yeah, so he, he better tell me. The same way that I thought Cam might stick to the pact we made around the pool, Dana believed that Ulysses was going to stick to the pact they made on their first trip to the morgue during Sherry's death. And that isn't happening. I promise you, he will come and tell me. There I don't is. have to go to him. He will come and tell me. Okay. What happened up there was, as soon as I touched the doorknob, 
It so shocked it was, the bejesus out of me. Bathroom. Hold on, Adriana is coming. Can you give us a second, Adriana? We're trying to have a conversation here. Oh, guys, I want to be included in this. I'm well, sorry. it's fine that you want to be included, but you're not included right now. Adriana is the kind of person who never hears no as an answer, it seems, but it's not going to be that same way with me. Adriana, could you please walk away? We're having a conversation. I'm sitting there happy to not be the bad guy, but just thinking, like, yes, Kim, keep being the jerk, keep kicking him out. I will leave. OK, thank you. But there's no reason to be rude about it. Sayonara. I knew a spark ignited at the doorknob. Oh, yeah, because of the first. Ronnie comes over to me. We decide that we will put our pieces together and see if we can figure out the significance of the socks in the pool. Fire alarm goes off. Right, he, he gets, gets out, out of bed. What happens? Socks on a rug. Right. Static electricity Static builds up. Electricity. We look at the obvious. Sunburst mark on the wall, the rug, and at this point, we've got our story. That's why I'm cool as a fan. You need to break up the group. And if you can break up the group, I can get you Ulysses and get the information well, and bring I can it back to, to you all. To Your countenance is really sweet. You two go together and try to break it up and let me get you Ulysses off so I can get the information and bring it back to y'all before we run out of time. This group is just a hot mess. We're not sharing information like we should be. Do I trust Dana now? I don't know. They've made their little pact. Ronnie, walk out there and help get Lindsay in here so I can get Ulysses to tell us what's going on. Y'all have got to go out there and break that group up. But let up. me tell him why. Dana is in outer space. She's drowning and her eyes are watering up. Ulysses, can I see you for a second? Hold on one second. If you touch that door and it's what set you on fire, would you go back for it or would you try to find a different escape route? I'm out at the pool, I'm calling for Ulysses, and he's not coming. There's gonna be a murder, all right. I will kill him if he doesn't tell me. So now the time has come for you to state your case. I'm disappointed. I really trusted that Ulysses was going to share with me. I could just pinch his head off. Of course, the killer believes in dressing for success. And look at all of you still in your pajamas. Please change. I'm nervous. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna say. All it takes is one wrong fact to get you killed. As I'm walking in to state my case, I absolutely know I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst. And I need to be somewhere right in that middle so I can go on to this next round. What you did to poor Dante, that was so wrong. You replaced the beautiful pajamas and the gray socks that were left for us. You then pulled the fire alarm, waited a couple seconds. The carpet in his room was different from the carpet in the rest of the house. You coated his entire pajamas in benzene. That door had to be somehow soaked in some type of accelerant. And then you also added the gift of the medallion from St. Agatha. Medallion that said St. Agnes. Patron, saint, protector of fire. And then you signed it, sleep well. He must have thought that the pendant had something that might protect him. He put it on. He didn't put it on his neck, put it in his pocket. What he didn't know was running for the door was going to create the static electricity. And somehow, that medallion exploded. He runs to the house, he jumps in the pool, but I don't think that's how he died. He died by drowning because Dante made a point to mention that he doesn't know how to swim. And what happens? Poof. Dante goes up in flames and becomes a legitimate Dante's Inferno. He runs through the house, a flaming ball of fire, jumps in the pool. And I suppose he drowned. You can enjoy your killings there, Chris. Adriana killed Dante. The killer must be Adriana. It's you, Ulysses. But remember this, Adriana. You're a very sick person. I believe that the killer is Cam. The killer is Gina. 
Cam, you better watch your back. <laughs> These last two days have just been like stressful. Intense. Somebody lied. They said it was a vacation. <laughs> yeah. This is not a vacation. You can't be serious. No way. <laughs> what is this? Esteemed guests, your theories are complete. Well done. Thank you. The least we could possibly do is give you a nice hot meal. <laughs> Oh, oh, my gosh. I just lost my appetite. Too soon? Too soon. Way too soon. Yeah. Uh, Giles. Yeah. I have never been more motivated to stay alive. I know, I have happens. never either. So what did you guys think about the riddle? We were on top of the yeah, barbecue. We, of the we were walking around. We never got the clue, though, did we? No. Chris pointed out the crest in the laundry had a pink stripe on it. Where? The big the crest door on the second floor. floor. Oh, is that where they found it? It's the exact same shade of pink as the flags yeah. were. And I grabbed that doorknob, and that thing shocked the living daylights out of me. But, so why didn't she but, share wait, that wait. information with we, everybody? Well, you know what? Here's the thing about that. If I hadn't been interrupted 17 times while I was trying to get my theory together... Why did she have to be rude about it? Why? You... Let me, can I answer for you, Cam? I'd love to, oh, I'd love to speak for you. I will person. have my attorney Hi. speak for me. <laughs> In his defense, the first time, he did actually defense. just say, would you mind giving us a minute? And you said, I want to stand here and talk. Let me throw my two cents in with your one minute. Your one minute lasted about 40 minutes there. All you guys sit at the table, you and Lindsay and him. That was not our plan until the two of you came up with your entitled attitude. You told me to leave and no. I left. And I was like, all right, fine. Okay, that's how you choose to remember it. It's Sasha, not choosing to remember you guys, anything. It's a game. And eventually there's going to be one guy standing. Or gal. And or, or woman. Yeah, or yeah. Oh, my God. Here we go. I do hate for your dinner to get cold, but the killer believes that one of you is on fire. Ulysses, congratulations. Oh, she is. What? You're scared, what my dear. I thought 100% scared card. Oh, whatever. Fire. Ulysses, you are so fake. Bad acting. What? Me? I got it? I was so unsure. I can't believe this. <laughs> you live to see another day. As for the others, listen carefully to how the killer played with fire and Dante got burned. As for the others, listen carefully to how the killer played with fire and Dante got burned. You knew my homage to Dante's Inferno was going to be a classic. It writes itself. Before he went to bed, Dante got all warm and snuggly in my flammable flannel pajamas, doused in high levels of odorless benzene. He even made sure his footsies were nice and toasty by putting on my special socks, different from the ones you were all wearing. And just before he went, night, night, he found the little gift I left for him, a necklace from St. Agatha. The note read, patron saint, protector from fire, sleep well. He slept well, all right. Until I set off the fire alarm. That's when Dante leapt out of bed, ran across the shag carpet in his special socks, and gathered up enough static electricity to set himself ablaze. 
The second he lay finger on the metal doorknob, a measly spark turned into a raging fire. But where the crime finished is what made the biggest splash. Dante ran down the stairs, through the house, Finally, dove into his watery grave. Where his socks floated as helpless as our latest victim. While the promises of Saint Agatha protecting him from fire were cruelly extinguished. Warmest regards, your my confidence level is on the ground. The slightest miss detail could send you to your doom. Fortunately, because some of you espoused theories deemed worthy of merit by the killer, Thank you, John. you are also spared. Sadly, two or more of you or not. Uh, yeah, I need it. You know, I've never seen a spared card. Thank you, Giles. But this time, I know I wasn't the best, but I know I was not the worst. Nothing for you, Ulysses. There were a few things that I think I may have missed the mark on, and I'm thinking, uh-oh. Pretty sure all of us are scared. Cam? Sure, why not? Keep all that platen plate off. Mm-hmm. There you go. Guess it must have. <laughs> Lindsay? Can I just not open it? No. Dawn. Oh, you deserve that. You have no idea. <laughs> Ronnie. Oh. You're good, Ronnie. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. Dana. Oh. You got it, Dana. <laughs> oh, Dana, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not over yet, baby. I'm sad. I'm just used to being really successful at everything I do. And I don't want to see myself dead. It's going to be OK. When Dana starts to cry, I feel so bad for her. I'm assuming she was really banking on Ulysses. Chris. Yeah. Gino. Ooh. Surprise, surprise. Sasha. Right now, there's just two people left, and it's Adriana and I. I am just losing it. Adriana, how are you feeling? <sighs> it's my time, it's my time. How are you feeling, Melina? <laughs> Not well. I don't want to be scared right now. I'm terrified. You open your card, please. Adriana, you open your card, please. We got you, girl. I don't think so. What? I'm sorry. I am a nervous wreck. I just want to stay alive, and I want to walk away with that quarter million dollars. It's not over yet. And Melina. Giles did say it could be two or more. Not out of the red yet. 
I'm sure you'll all agree it's been an extremely long day. Yeah. True that. Yes. You may or may not be relieved to know that we have placed fresh pajamas for each of you. Oh. You can't be serious. Sleep well, or should I say, rest in peace. I'm not putting on those pajamas. Yeah, right. Good night. Get your chair, honey. There you go. You're welcome. I'm kind of resigned to accepting that this may be my last night here. I hope he spares me because I gave it my best shot. I really did. I can't sleep if I'm stressed out. I'm anxious. Every noise that I hear, I'm startled. I'm totally scared to death. I know Adriana's the killer. Adriana's trying to throw suspicion off of herself. That's what the scared card's about. I know I'm dying next. <laughs> Next time on Who Done It. See that? Oh my god! Adriana has been killed. My dear guest, killer has left an important message. Ah! I'm not gonna do this, run all over the place, try to shut people out of doors. You're either with us or you're with them. There's no back and forth. This is a game. Ah! Holy crap. Don't I didn't want to die so early, but I think that the way that I died was pretty awesome. I went out in flames, it was pretty awesome.